All right, guys. Problem nine from the fundamentals of chapter two. All right. So we're going to keep uh, doing the same as we were doing the previous problem. You know, get in the habit of breaking down your forces in the X and Y and then adding them all up in the X, adding them all up in the Y, and then getting a resultant force. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Determine the magnitude of the resultant force on this core bell, whatever that is. All right, so let's first let's make a prediction. Everything seems to be pushing it downwards, all right? And it looks like the force F1 might win uh, as to, you know pushing it to the left. So maybe our resultant People force. Say, I'm the best boss. What? They go, God, we've never worked in a place like this before. You're hilarious. That is Michael's cut. And Hold on a second. You get the best out of us. Um, I think that pretty. Michael Sky got the best of us. All right. All right. Uh, back to this. All right. Uh, so our prediction is going to be it's going down and to the left. All right. So that's what we're going to stick with. Let's put our prediction up here. Something like that. All right. So now let's break them all down. So let's do F1. So it's pointing to the left, so negative um, in the i direction. Actually, let's give it some more room. All right, and it's going to be, we're going to find the adjacent side here. So it's going to be some component y plus some component in the negative x gives me my result in f1. Okay. So the adjacent side is x, so it's I mean cosine. So it's gonna be seven hundred cosine thirty. And then it's pointing downwards, so it's gonna be minus seven hundred sine thirty j. And now let's do f two. F two is points straight down. Alright, so there's no x component. Alright. Minus 400 J. And last but not least, they're nice to us and they give us these little perfect triangles. So it's positive X, remember. So it's going to be positive 600. Remember, side that's up, up, side parallel to X is 3, so 3 fifths I. And it's pointing downwards, downwards and to the right. So minus. Uh, 600 4 fifths J all right and now let's add up all the X's add up all the Y's and let's see what we got so resultant force so actually this is all the forces in the X will give me my resultant force in the X that's gonna be minus 700 times cosine 30 So I have minus 606.2 plus 0 plus 600 times 3 divided by 5 plus 360. Alright, so minus 606.2 minus 360. Sorry, minus 606.2 plus 360. Yeah, I was like, what is happening? So minus 246.2 pounds. All right, that's my resultant in the x direction. Okay, good, good, good. So forces in the y to determine my resultant y. And remember, in the next few chapters, we're not going to have resultants. So it's going to be all the forces in the y will add up to zero. We'll get into that later. Um, so yeah, so all the forces in the Y here we have minus 700 sine 30, so it's minus 350, minus 400, and then minus 600 times 4 divided by 5, minus 480. Okay, so it's minus 
1230 pounds. If I haven't made any errors, that's what it should be. So these are your two components, okay? And now, again, let's get the resultant force. So we're just going to square each component, add it up. Don't worry about the, about the signs in here because you're just going to square it. Okay, 246.2 squared plus 1230 squared. Square root of all that. And you got 1254.4 pounds. Okay, that is our resultant. That's the magnitude of our resultant force. Okay. All right, there's no direction. It's just a number. So it's a scalar. And now we're going to do the inverse tan. And now in this case, remember, when we actually look at this, we have minus FR plus minus 1230, so minus FRY. So minus FRX plus minus or plus FRY, right? and our resultant force will point in this direction. Just how we had in our prediction, right? And then the angle that it forms, is gonna be this one, okay? So it's gonna be inverse tan of the y, so 1230 minus 246.2. That gives us 78.7 degrees, all right? But then, wait a second, they tell us measured counterclockwise from the x-axis. So that is counter, so what they mean by that is, what is this total angle, okay? It's not, it's not just this angle right, that we're looking for. It's gonna be that plus the 180, okay? So plus 180, and that'll be 258.7. Hey, that's my dog. All right, and then the angle here is gonna be 258.7, all right? So it's basically just pointing almost straight down, all right? All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. I hope, you know, as you've done these past few problems, everything's becoming a little more concrete, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or question down below. Thanks.